Well, this is there's kind occupied. of a mixed message going on here. So you know what? The, the so occupied. No, it's peace speakers that are speaking. Okay, hold on for just a second. Um, no, we're here. We're here about the housing crisis and the, con the contrast, the fact that the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts has to resort to raffling off this kind of like American dream image while the reality is that we have millions of people going into foreclosure who can't, who lose their jobs through the economic crisis, who can't how afford health care. I don't understand how you're making the connection between... The connection is that the arts organizations shouldn't have to uh, rely on this dream of wealth in order to raise money. We should be able to apply like our tax dollars, for example, to support the arts in San Francisco, rather than having to do this Horatio Alger, win a raffle, become wealthy. And then, you know, the people that win these homes can't even afford to live there. So they take the cash instead because the property taxes are so high they can't even afford to live there. So are you are you guys the ones who donated the house? Well, first of all, the house is really not donated. It's um, the your point of center. Be careful of because we're under confidentiality. Yeah. Okay. So the fact is, they don't own. They, they don't, don't own it. It's not a donation. It's not a donation. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and so. Yeah, we're, we're trying to make to, a. Yeah, you don't need to, to make tell them anything yeah. about it. But I just yeah. can't. To me, it's like criticizing you know, something that has nothing to do, in my view, with what you guys are trying to do. I mean, it's it's so, it's so, you know, the separation of the, I, I, I understand what you're saying there, but it's mm -hmm. so far mm -hmm. that it's like, it's just an attention-getting thing, really, and you're, frankly, we are you're trying to get attention. I think you're disparaging this property. We are trying to get attention to the issues, yeah. And, I, you know, I mean, it's, it's not a good thing. I can't imagine that your Buena would be happy about this. Well, he just called him up. The, po the police okay. officer just called oh. him up. So he's he's talked with him about it. You can ask him what what they said, if you want. Who is he? The police officer? Called. Oh, called this police officer right here. Did you yeah. call, did you talk to the director of marketing? Yeah, Scott. Uh, not marketing. Director of, uh, managing director of something or other. Well, Neil is the one that we have. Well, so I'm sure Scott can call Neil. Neil Rowitz. No. So I called him to talk to those. He's supposed to talk to whoever is over there. <coughs> Maybe send someone down here and talk to Mr. Doherty. See if they can do some kind of dialogue. Hmm. Um, so how long is this going to last? It's it should be over by noon. Yeah. Um, how many people do you think are going to be showing up here? I don't think many more than this. <laughs> We didn't expect these two to show up, <laughs> for example. <laughs> um, can you just make sure people stay off the street? Yeah. All right, I'll sure. do my best. Thank you. Well, why don't you do it in front of Yerba Buena Center for the Arts? I don't understand We, we actually have done that. We've yeah. done it inside Yerba Buena Center for yeah, the Arts. Okay. We brought a little okay. dream house in there and put it inside the exhibit. So have you done exhibit. this to all the dream house raffles that they've had? No, this was the first time. We didn't know about it before. Well, here's the thing. This, this foreclosure crisis is kind of a recent development, you know? And it is. Well, it's going I mean, on for three years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but what I mean is, in, in the history of Yerba Buena Center and their work, um, you know, I can imagine that when when they first started taking corporate donations from Wells Fargo and Chase and developing the Dream House um, raffle. They meaning who? Yerba Buena Center. Taking donations from? Wells Fargo and Chase. The banks, corporate donations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. those that, are the, the ones that are corporate donors mm -hmm. to Yerba Buena. I, yeah, Yerba Buena. I, I just find it amazing you're going after Yerba Buena. I mean, we're that's, we're really I mean, not, not really going after Yerba Buena. Well, who are you going after? We're we're going after the image yeah. that Yerba Buena is selling in order to raise funds for an arts organization. This so idea. I, so what is the? I don't understand what's wrong with that. Well, what's wrong with it is that. We are in a period of time with unprecedented foreclosures and evictions of people. By the way, it's, 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 it's working itself out right now. Yeah, there's like been, what, 4 million? How, I don't know how in many. In California, 2.1 million since 2008. Yeah. Of what? Foreclosures. foreclosures. People Two, being... 2.1 million foreclosure of homes, volume of homes. Of homes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
then that, obviously there's a lot more people involved in it than just that who've been foreclosed, whose who's livelihood, who's livelihood has been affected, whose wealth has been moved to the 1%. What we're really doing is kind of talking about the bigger picture, the financial structure of, the, of our whole culture and society. And that's how... So are you against how, capitalism? Yes. You are.